Hey, what's up everybody? Angelic Vixen here from Lucky by Nature. In today's video, I am going to show you how OP the Rhino actually is. A lot of people actually don't know this, and I know some of you are going to know this, so if you know how OP the Rhino is, this video is probably not for you. But those looking for, you know, a different advantage, especially in PvP, the Rhino is worth um, taming and raising, and I'm going to show you why. We were actually going to put this in a different video, um, because on the servers today, there's going to be an epic PvP battle amongst the tribes on Ragnarok. But we elected to do it this way instead. Um, if you know people that are really giga happy and they love their gigas, you need to have rhinos. And if they love their wyverns, you need to have rhinos. So let's get right into this video so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so the first thing I want to show you is the stats. Now we're doing this with tamed uh, creatures. The reason being is because, you know, if you can do it with a tamed rhino, the bred rhino will be even better. So we're always trying to go backwards just a step so we don't have the best of the best. That way we can give you an example of exactly what we're talking about. So these are the stats we are currently dealing with with the just tamed rhino. Of course, maxed out with XP because you definitely want to have as much points, you know, put into things like health, stamina, and melee as possible, especially melee and health. The stam is actually pretty good on the rhino no matter what. All right, so now let me show you what happens. You wanna be at a distance from the Giga that you're going to attack. This is not going to work on a wild Giga, so keep that in mind. You are gonna be fighting people with Gigas. Some people are very Giga happy. They love their Gigas, they have really great Gigas. Now, you're gonna want the distance and you're gonna to wanna to be at full speed. So when that little icon gets fully red on the Rhino, you hit the target. And what happens with the Giga is it pops off the rider and the giga enrages now in this first clip beast is not wearing any armor so he died immediately from the fall from the giga raging this is exactly what you want because then if you have tribe mates you're going to come in and you're going to kill their team it's very important to make sure you're at full speed so you get the full effect now this one again is not bred so you can get these so much more powerful if they're bred. All right, so now I wanna show you the stats of what it looks like after I hit the Giga. It didn't do a lot of damage, but again, keep in mind, this is about removing the rider from the Giga. You want the Giga to enrage. That is a big problem for the tribe that you're attacking. And again, as you can see here, we're using primitive saddles because of course you can get better saddles and it won't do as much damage. And that's gonna be really important, especially for the Rhino, since the Rhino is going to be on attack. You wanna have a better saddle. All right, so now I wanna show you Beast Point on primitive flak again you can have much better armor this would take slightly longer but the result is still the same i want to show you exactly what happens when me and beast are kind of at battle my rhino versus his giga and i want you to see how long it takes to legitimately take the rider off the giga and the giga basically kill the rider it is an incredible way to disarm a tribe who's using gigas
And there you have it. It took roughly around, what, two minutes to take off the rider. And of course, if they have better armor, it'll take slightly longer, but not by much. And that's the amazing part about this whole situation is rhinos are not used as much in PvP by a lot of people. Not everybody. There's a lot of people that still know, but there's a lot of people that don't, that the rhino is very dangerous. Now I want to show you what happens to a wyvern when it lands for Stam. Now first, let me say this wyvern was spawned in because we wanted to show this to you in the clip they would be of course more powerful if they were you know bred but for this you know we wanted to show you how it works and we again we were going to do this on our servers um, because of the war today and we were going to legitimately you know work on wiping a tribe because they're wyverns and gigas happy that's what they solely focus on and we were going to use rhinos to do this um so we were actually going to put up this video after the battle because we didn't want to like show how we were going to do it unfortunately things changed and we decided not to go into the servers today so now we're going to show you what happens basically you're going to be fighting somebody on a wyvern right they will eventually have no choice but to land once they land, you are going to go full force into the wyvern and try to kill it. And it does so much damage. The rhino versus a wyvern that has landed due to stam issues can never recover. Like, they really struggle to recover. And you could have people waiting for this to happen, sniping them, and then having the rhino hit that wyvern over and over and over again. Rhinos are very important in PvP. And there you have it, guys. I hope this gives you um, a reason to start, you know, taming those rhinos and breeding those rhinos. They are very beneficial in PvP if you utilize them in ways that uh, will give you an advantage. And a lot of people just kind of shrug off the rhino. And don't get me wrong, there are going to be a lot of people who know this who play PvP a lot. Um, but there's going to be people who don't know. And there's a lot of new people to the game. So get yourself some rhinos. Breed those babies and get ready to take down some gigas. Keep in mind, we're not saying you need to do this. We're not saying you should do this. We just want to provide you as much information as possible to help you be successful and give you a lot of options in this game because there is a ton of things people don't realize they can do with different creatures, different dinos, different things, just a whole bunch of stuff. And we're going to start showing you all of that in detail. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, keep surviving. My work saved the human race.